So, here I am. Um, I'm asking uh, for help. I received this saber tonight, and uh, this is supposed to be uh, the ghost, uh, which is sort of a saber that you've seen, perhaps, uh, for sale on eBay or Amazon. That's a specific type of hilt, of which this is very similar, but it is not that hilt. Um, this is something new. It kind of combines elements uh, from the ghost with another hilt design that I've seen. And it has uh, the, the, the chassis removes, or the, um, this half of the hilt separates and kind of reveals the chassis. And the pommel can come off as well. And uh, it it's interesting because the saber actually has some very interesting fonts um, that all derive from the uh, the most recent trilogy. There's a lot of uh, a lot of Kylo Ren in here, and uh, um, well, just really, really the the sound fonts pay homage to uh, to the new trilogy, and I I really like that. Uh, so here, if you can just kind of please take a look at this hilt. Uh, if you have the ghost, and I know uh, a few of you do, Hoth Sith, you have this hilt. Well, you don't have this hilt. You have something very similar, but it is not this hilt. You can see, you know, there are a lot of differences. This is in and of itself a, a very unique hilt. And I do kind of actually like it. Uh, but I'll get to the, the real reason why I'm asking for help. I just want everyone to sort of familiarize themselves with, uh, with the design. And uh, interestingly enough, this, this saber actually uses two blade retention screws, which I quite like. 7 8 inch blade. The blade is not that bad. <clears throat> it has this sort of a clickety clack switch, which I have on several of my sabers including my um my blackburn benevolence and it's not a bad switch but here's the thing if you can see in there that's a single led now the seller is absolutely insisting that this saber is capable of full rgb full color changing and that's a single LED, which seems to be generating just white. Now, I have followed the instructions that came with the saber, which don't even show this saber in the pictures. It shows another saber. I mean, there are so many sabers that come out of China. Yes, that's where this, this actually came from Hong Kong that there's certain, you know, generalities as far as, you know, the soundboard going into different types of hilts. They're just manufacturing so much that um, there's, there's going to be variances. So, granted. Now, I've been going back and forth with the, uh, the seller, and they're insisting that they don't sell savers that don't have RGB capability. And, uh, Basically, I am not able, following the instructions that were provided or any of the instructions that the seller has provided to me, to get this to do RGB color changing. And I don't even think RGB should be possible with an LED like that. And uh, so I'm kind of looking for opinions. If anybody has this hilt, do you have the ability to get this to change RGB colors? Because I, I cannot get... I've been playing with this and playing with this and playing with this and just I've tried everything and it doesn't seem to work. And there seems to be a degree of futility because I don't think that a, a you know a hilt with, with a single LED like this <laughs> could possibly be RGB. But I'm open to the possibility that I'm completely dead wrong. So... Um, you know, based on what you've, what you're seeing here, um, what do you think? Uh, have you experienced this particular hilt before? Does it 
have full RGB um, capability? And if so, well, how does that work? Because as far as I know, um, it's just it's just not. As I said, uh, I actually don't even mind that it's even if it was just a single LED color, white. I'm kind of actually okay with that, but that's not what I bought, and that's not what I paid for. So my options are basically to, you know, I, I you know, I, I basically have a seller that's going to argue with me till the end of the earth, and insist that what I have is, you know, what they think I have, not rather what I actually do have. And I'm willing to keep this saber, but I, I do feel like I'd be, um, you know, deserving of some kind of compensation. You know, maybe uh, take 20, 10 or twenty dollars off the price, and then I'm fine with keeping it because actually, like I said, I kind of like the saber. But um, I'm remiss to actually return the thing because that's kind of cost me money and time that I just don't have, and I've been trying to get this thing for two months. So I'm in a really, really weird, weird situation, and uh, I'm not whining or anything. It's just kind of, it's looking like um, I'm basically just going to end up giving this seller yet another really, really horrible eBay feedback very very negative and walking away with this saber that doesn't have rgb capability and and i'm just gonna go ahead and go buy the ghost and i don't know it's just one of those situations that arises every once in a while in this hobby uh you do deal with people sometimes that you know run uh, interesting operations anyway so wow this video ended up being a lot longer than i thought it would be so uh anyway um i wish everyone a good night and, uh, you know, whatever help you can give me, I really, really do appreciate it. So take care now. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.